Here's the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 4 and verse 26. This goes for my man here and everybody on the block. Everybody hears me in their windows. Read. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women. There have been many men have lost their damn mind because of the... Going to school, right? Do your thing, right? Read it again. This is the book of First Angels, chapter 4 and verse 26. This goes for my man here and everybody on the block. Everybody hears me in their windows. Read. Yay! Many there be that have run out of their wits for women. There have been many men have lost their damn mind because of the. They call up their man. Ah! This nigga, you know, he's took the mama. He said, what? Boom, come up on the street, and out the whole block. Oh. He even make no double check of nothing. He didn't call nobody. She was just mad, because she was sleeping with him too. And he called, she called him with another girl. And now he gonna go shoot it out, shoot, her, shoot on the block, and now he's locked up. Yeah. You seen something like that happen? Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Men have, Women is like a drug for some men. They will lose their house, their job, their car, their future, their family for a woman. No. Is it ever worth it? No. Hell no. Hell no. Right? So I pray whatever you're doing with your girl that stops. And you in the, you in the scriptures and you study in your books. Right? In your business, how are we going to help the community? How are we going to help your people? Because you're a 16 year younger man, right? But do you think you have a role in helping raising up the 12 tribes of Israel? Everybody do. So what are you supposed to be doing? Get Deuteronomy 10, 12. To give jobs? All right, listen to this. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 10 and verse 12. This is the starting point. Read. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord thy God. To uh, requires us to fear him, right? Go ahead. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. Whatever he says, you do it, right? Because look, if you do you respect your mom? Would you want to disrespect her? What would she do if she disrespect her? See what? Talk to she talked to you. What about when you was younger? I didn't get hit. She, you, she, you didn't get hit? No. You was a good kid? I wasn't a good kid, but she just told someone. When our kids don't learn discipline at a young age, right? You was you in high school, right? How the kids in class? Are they respectful to parents or to the teachers? No. Give me that in uh, Timothy's. That's the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 1. This no this no also, that in the last days. The last days, we're in the last days right now. Everybody know we're in the last days. Read. Perilous times shall come. Perilous means dangerous times shall come. Why? Read. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Men shall be lovers of their own selves. What do you see now, nowadays? All these selfies on Instagram, on TikTok. People loving themselves, right? Read. Covetous. Covetous. They want things that don't belong to them. Read. Boasters. Boasters. You <laughs> check out this ring. All of these, all this music and stuff like that. What do they do? They boast about their life. They boast about their cars, their money, the women that they got. Right? And they want y'all to do the same thing. Bro, be in the projects, come out with five hundred dollars sneakers on. Why? Because they want to boast. Right? Read. Proud. Blasphemous. Disobedient to parents. To what? Disobedient to parents. Disobedient to parents. Do you understand how God treated kids that were disobedient? Do we have any illusions? Because these kids, these kids today are off the hook. They're off the hook. Read that. That's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 21 and verse 18. 
If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father. If you have a stubborn and rebellious son, he don't want to cook, he don't want to clean, he don't want to take out the garbage, he don't want to do his homework, he don't want to stay, he want to stay out all night with the niggas on the block. Stubborn and rebellious. Read. Or the voice of his mother. He don't want to listen to his father or his mother. He's disrespectful. What do God have planned for brothers like that? Read. And that when they have chastened, chastened him. When they discipline him, they correct him. He still want to be a nigga. Read. Will not hearken unto them. Uh-huh. Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him. Father and mom Duke's going to grab you up, yoke you up. What they going to do with him? And bring him out or to the elders of the city. They're going to bring him out to the elders of the city. This is when we had leadership in Israel. Now we don't have anything. So where do we get grabbed up to now? PD, exactly. That's what happened. The, the Department of Corrections. We don't want to listen at home. The state going to take care of you. That's what goes on. Read. And unto the gate of this place. Uh-huh. And they shall say unto the elders of the, of the city, uh -huh. This our son is stubborn and rebellious. Our son is stubborn and rebellious. He don't want to listen to his father. He don't want to listen to his mother. He don't want to listen to anything. He just wants to be a nigga. Niggas are destructive to society. That's what it is. And I say that with my, all my love. It's the fact though. Nigga activity caused destruction to our neighborhoods. That's what it is. And it's called sin in the Bible. Right. Read. He will not obey our voice. Uh -huh. He is a glutton and a drunkard. He's glutton and a stubborn. He's a glutton and what? And drunkard. And a right? drunkard. So he want to eat all day. He want to sit and play video games in the house all day. Drink, smoke weed. He just want to chill. I ain't. That's not my son. That's the son of the devil. So get his ass out of here. Let's bring him to the elders of the city. Because he don't want to listen to us. Let's see what's happening. Read. And all the men of this city shall stone him. So what? Shall stone him. So what? Shall stone him. That's ancient bullets right there. God said we're going to stone him to death. 21 gun salute on his ass. Why? Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Because he would be rebellious to his parents. But now, what does America say? How does America treat children? You said what? Like they grow. I love this kid right here. Get Isaiah 3. Get Isaiah 3. The kids acting like they grown and the parents want to be friends with their kids. What the hell is going on? That's a product of the Christian church though. This book of Isaiah, chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Children are their oppressors. Why you take God, why would God call children our oppressors? Everybody know the white man's our oppressor. That's not even, that's, that's obvious to see. But God calls our children, the young children of Israel, the teenagers, right? The young 20 year olds. He said they're our oppressors. They're next in line, absolutely. But God says that they're oppressing us. How can, how can the kids oppress us? Think about drill music. Now answer the question. How is God saying that the children are oppressors? Gang violence, right? Absolutely, right? When you go to the ATM and go get some money, you ain't worried about uh, Uncle Sam on your back trying to rob you. No. You worry about the little niggas out here trying to make a name for themselves. That's why God said what? As for my people, children are the oppressor. Uh huh. And women. And what? And women. And women. Moms, a lot of times, be single black mothers. They got to do the job of two people. They got to be a mother and they try to be a father to the son. But it's not possible. 
There's no possible way a black woman can raise a black boy to be a black man. Right, it's impossible. Right. It's impossible. We need strong Israelite leadership in a black man's life. Right. That's how we grow up to be men of the Lord. Right. But if we grow up in our society, we grow up with our moms telling us what to do until we're 20 years old, what are we going to be? On a block. We're going to be sashaying our hands up the block wearing a tutu. Like a lot of these bro, I just seen some dude, I don't know what the hell that was. He had some crazy stuff on, right? Messed up in the head, right? Making our men turn into women, thinking they women. They grow up with their mothers. Right? Read. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Uh -huh. All my people. All my people, the Israelites, read. They which lead thee. They that lead thee. America. And the black woman, read. Cause me to earn. Cause you to earn. Right? That's why kids grow up. They go on to join the gangs. Right? They do the drill music. Start killing one another. That's earn. Right? Our kids grow up. Now the other boys saying they want to be girls. They want to wear dresses and stuff like that. I see it. That's error. These young boys having baby mamas at 14, 15, having babies. That's error. End up in juvie by the time you're 12. That's error. Read. They which lead thee, cause thee to her, and destroy the way of thy past. Destroy the way of their past, right? Because our people right now, where's our path? Who is directing our young youth now? Police. You said the police? Yeah. What do you mean? You don't want to get pulled by them, so you do other things. You said what? You don't want to get pulled, so you do something else. I don't understand what you're saying. I'm saying, who guides our kids now? Who's the role models for our children now? The rappers. The rappers. And what are they teaching our kids? Nonsense. 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 Right? But you, what's your name again? Tashin. 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 We need you to be an example for the little brothers out there. Get first Maccabees three, right? Because in the high school, if you change your ways, you start keeping these laws, you can transform everything. Just by your example itself, you can change lives. I'm telling you for a fact. I've seen it. There's a book of First Maccabees. Chapter 3 and verse 43. They said one to another, let us restore the decayed estate of our people. Read it again. They said one to another. They said, the Israelite man, they spoke with each other. This is when men dealt as men. They said, yo, let's what? Let us restore. Let us restore. This is when we had sense and we took responsibility for our actions. We took responsibility for our nation. Now, America teaches our black men, I'm good, F everybody else, I'm successful, I'm good. But what about your brother? What about your sister? What about your family? This is nation building. Bible is nation building. We ain't doing that, oh, I'm good, that means everybody's good. No, no, no. I'm not good until my brother is good. You understand? One mind, one spirit. That can revolutionize our people. That's revolution. Read. They said one to another, let us restore the decayed estate of our people. Let us, let us restore, right? Because we've been destroyed. Get Judith, um, you know what I'm talking about? 8, 824, 824, right? Because we have no examples, right? There's a lot of hormones and stuff like that get introduced to different things, right? You have to be that example. Because you got more sense than average in high school students. You understand? Read. This is the book of Judah, chapter 8 and verse 24. Uh -huh. Now therefore, O brethren, let us show an example. I show a what? An example. An example. Uh -huh. To our brethren. Uh -huh. Because their hearts depend upon us. So what is, what is God saying right there? So what? We depend on each other. We depend on each other. But what is the first part talking about? Read the part again, first part. Now therefore, oh brethren, let us show an example to our brethren. What is he talking about? You gotta lead by example. 
So what kind of ways can you change about yourself that can make that change? You could be that example to the brothers. Show them a different route. What can they see? Like an example that they'll see, like, damn. Kent used to be walking around like this, he used to do this, but now he does this. He said, what? Why it's called the best dress? We talking about how they change their spirit. What do you mean? But right the, we just talked about the boasters, right? Our people don't need more fancy cars. Our people need to learn how to stop smoking crap. That's what they need to learn. They need to learn to stop stealing. Stop killing. Right? What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 